I, I got into RC helicopters as a hobby for a little bit, and I suck as a pilot on those things. Like I'm, I'm terrible, and I never got into the FPV ones. I always use the uh, what the third person view or whatever you want to call it, like standing on the ground and looking up the thing. And um, I, I crashed so many of them. I, I eventually I just kind of cut myself off because all of my RC helicopters were were parts. <laughs> so I, um, you know, I just didn't I didn't stick with it, but. If you had me flying an inspection drone, <laughs> it should cost like at least as much as the drone to insure it, maybe half the price. So does this like pilot skill come into the the cost of insurance there? Like how do you how do you prove that to the insurance company? Just out of curiosity. Or that was is that not a thing? And I'm just yeah, they like they just don't you would give think people like me insurance. Them. Yeah. You would think it would play a role, but they don't. They don't actually ask. They don't really dive into uh, what your experience is and your background. I mean, if I was running an insurance company and somebody wanted to take a high risk adventure and and I was going to insure them, I would want to do my due diligence and say, well, what is what is my risk? You know, do you have that training and the background and the expertise to do this, or are you a cowboy? That's you know, your odds are ninety percent that you're going to fail, and I'm going to pay for it. And yeah, Just that's in this, in this context. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, yep. that makes yeah. Helicopters, RC helicopters are very hard. I, I also experimented with them. I, I crashed a few uh, repeatedly and then said, okay, I'm going to go back to, uh, you know, multi rotors and, and so on. So multi rotors, I'm not going to say they're easy, but they're not as challenging as helicopters. Yeah, they are. They're actually, they can be wildly easy depending on how you have them structured. So, if it's a home built one, then you it's basically going to be a radio controlled drone that you know you have to be very active on the sticks. But like DJI and other commercial drones, they they're actually in in stabilized mode. You are basically pushing them around the sky with the sticks. If you let go of the sticks and you're not giving any input, it'll just stop and hover and wait for you. So that's really really good because huh. it gives you time to to think and plan, and you know you don't panic because it's not heading at full speed towards a tree or something. You know you just <laughs> You know, you don't have to, you're not committed to doing something. 